With the new Forma to Finch integration, users can streamline their entire early stage design process. In Forma, fetch a site from anywhere in the world, explore conceptual volumes, and analyze their performance. Send your model to Finch and generate regulation corridors, optimize unit mixes, and customize compliant floor plans. Once ready to move to the next stage of development, seamlessly transition into BIM in Revit with a single click. Here, I'm working in a Forma project with a building that I modeled directly inside of Forma. I'll open the Forma to Finch extension where I can review key details about the buildings being sent, select my variant, and hit send. Once the upload is successful, I can open the project in Finch. Inside of Finch, I see my building along with its context. On the left, I get instant key figures for GFA, GIA, and more. From here, I can start assigning programs for retail and residential to understand the specific building composition. Next, I'll generate the floor plate, including unit mix and corridors. For this building, I want to generate a regulation compliant double loaded corridor, so I'll customize the algorithm parameters to accommodate this. I'll input egress distances for fire regulations, control the stairwell count, and use the stairwell attractors to define their direction. Using the algorithm's weights, I can fine tune the layout to comply with design preferences and update the dimensions. Next, I'll generate the units themselves, defining apartment sizes and their ratio within the mix. I can adjust weights to prioritize different metrics, such as size, uniformity, and daylight quality ensuring the algorithm optimizes based on my preferences. Each adjustment restarts the process, continuously refining the results. Once my unit mix is set, I can generate apartment layouts. Here, I'm generating two types of plans, plans from the Acme Architects dataset, as well as Finch's own plans. As the results start appearing, I can use the graph rules to ensure that they comply with my regulations. Here, I've set rules requiring bedrooms to be at least 80 square feet and bathrooms at least 30. I can filter out non-compliant options and use the scoring evaluations for transparency on why Finch is generating specific plants. Additional filters help me refine results further, such as isolating layouts by bedroom and bathroom count. Once I find the plan I want to use, I assign it, and as everything in Finch is fully editable, I can always fine tune it as needed. Once I've generated throughout the entire floor plate, I can copy it in 3D, creating linked plans throughout the building. With the full project generated, I can use Finch's visualizations to help analyze space types and vertical alignment, reviewing the residential unit mix, unique units, as well as the program distribution. When I'm ready to move to the next stage, Finch generates a complete BIM model as a native Revit file, so I can simply import my project directly into Revit, complete with custom families for walls, doors, and furnitures, linked apartments as model groups, and area tags, seamlessly integrating into my existing Revit workflow.